I bet you've already encountered a work rate, also known as work time question. You know the ones where in the explanation they expect you to do a work timetable? Well, that just seems like a lot of work and time to be spending for one question on a test. I'm going to show you a faster and easier way to do these types of problems that works every time. If you weren't familiar with the problem I was talking about, you will be after reading this word problem. If John can paint a room in seven hours and Ursula can paint the same room in six hours, how many hours would it take for them to paint the room together? Well, I'm going to skip that work timetable and just give you this easy formula to use every time, where both t's on the top are equal to the time spent together. W1 is equal to the time spent by one person or one thing, and W2 is equal to the time spent by the other person or other thing. And it'll always be equal to one if one job is being done. So now all you have to do is plug in the values given for worker 1 and worker 2 and solve for t. You could do common denominator and solve for t, but no one really loves that. So I'm going to show you a quicker and easier way to simplify this equation and solve for t. All you have to do is combine the denominators and multiply it to everything in the equation, canceling out anything you can, and then simplifying the equation to 6t plus 7t equals 42. Then just solve for t as you usually would by adding 6t plus 7t to get 13t equals 42, and divide 13 on each side to get 3.23 hours. And this is the time they spend painting the room together. Here's a slightly different version of the work time problem that you might see. If John paints a room in seven hours, but can paint the same room in three hours if he works with Ursula, how many hours would it take Ursula to paint the room alone? Well, in this problem, they told us the amount of time that it takes for them to work together, and now they're asking for the amount of time it takes for one person to paint the room alone. Well, we're going to use the same formula as I gave before, but in this case, t is the amount of time they spent painting the room together, which is already given. W1 is the amount of time it takes for John to paint the room, and W2 is what we will be solving for, the amount of time it takes Ursula to paint the room alone. And again, it's equal to 1 because they are only painting one room. And just like before, we'll plug in 7 for W1, but this time we'll plug in 3 for both t's on the top and solve for W2. And I'm going to simplify the equation the same way I did before by combining the denominators and multiplying them to everything in the equation, canceling out as much as I can to end up with 3w plus 21 equals 7w. Then just simply solve the way you usually would by subtracting 3w to the right side to get 21 equals 4w, and then divide by 4 on each side to get w equals 5.25 hours that Ursula would spend painting the room alone. Finally, one last difference that you might see in these types of problems. In the previous two problems, they were painting one room together, so we set the equation equal to 1. Well, if you ever see a word problem where they give you the amount of time it takes for the first person to paint a room and the second person to paint a room and then they ask you how much time would it take them to paint two or more rooms together well simply use the same formula but instead of setting it equal to one you would set it equal to two or the number of rooms that they specify in the question then with the equation set equal to two instead of one this time we'll do what we did before and plug in the other information given and then solve for t just like before, and this time we get t equals 6.46 hours as the total time required for both of them to paint two rooms together. Which makes sense because if you remember from the first problem where they were painting one room together, it was 3.23 hours, and now it's double the time. Simple as that.